government you're complicit your time will come <laughs> that is guaranteed it will come all right thank yeah. you thank you Oh, my God. 
It also has violated the United Nations Charter right for self determination of Geneva Convention 1951. We want to let the Kenya to know and understand that what they have done is a violation of the United Nations Charter on civil human rights and the right for self determination. We, the people, the entire nation of the Biafra, worldwide, are here to express our grievances for what the Kenyan authority have done against us. We want to say that the Biafras are angry. The Biafras who deliver the father of the current president of Kenya when he was a political prisoner. The Biafra who supported and raised money to make sure that the current president of Kenya, late father, was released from the political prison and made sure that he became the Kenya president. We, the Biafra, in the eastern region of the present place called Nigeria today, we sponsored the current president of Kenya, his father, to be released and not only be released as a political prisoner, we let him to be president of Kenya. Today, this is Samuel Rosa, who became the president, not only to pay us evil for the good which we have done. Today, not only paying us evil by illegally abducting our leader, Marvin Amika, abducting him, humanizing him, injected him, beating him, for eight good days. Can we have a discussion? We have a discussion. So, in summary, I want to make it very clear that we are angry. And today, today, the storm will rise and fight for us. What the Kenya have done, the evils worldwide, the death from worldwide, the act of the worldwide, we are waiting. We want to take them that they're not saying Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank the police. Uh, we all gathered here to formally express our disappointment on the people of Kenya and the government of Kenya. All Africans have stop, stop. confidence stop, stop. Stop. that African governments must at all times respect fundamental human rights, obey international conventions and treaties. It's an our disappointment that a British citizen who happens to be the leader of the indigenous people of Africa, a man that sacrificed a lot for his people, he knew the terrain, he knew the government he was dealing with was a, a rogue government, a government that kills his own people, imprisons his own people, have no regard to self esteem and dignity of people. He chose to work for his people, to take them out of the bondage in the country called Nigeria. The Biafrans see themselves as second class citizens. They gave it all what it takes to build their nation. But the people who run Nigeria do not accept us as equal partners and people to fit with. And that gave rise to when Mazin and the Khan saw a vision to lead these people just like Moses led people from out of Egypt into out of Egypt to Israel. To Israel. And that's why every Biafra stood behind him. He went to Kenya, the government of Kenya, we don't know as of today the role the government of Kenya played. The government of Kenya is denying that they have no hand in the adoption of our leader. Nigerian government is claiming that they collaborated with Kenya. It's very obvious that that's a clear violation. We believe that Kenya have used either government agencies or not government agencies to adopt our leader, tortured him for eight days. There's no record that shows that he will be taken to police custody, nor in the prison. We've also run a report to the Interpol, and there's no bench warrant that exists as today within the record of Interpol 
against our leader. So this all points to a road of pressure. And we are asking the Kenyan government to come out forcefully and deny and produce evidence. The only is that the Kenyan government to prove them that they were not involved. It is not enough for just the High Commission of the Kenyan people to Nigeria to just make a statement. They have to be further. This associate themselves from this particular thing, this particular abduction. So we are all here today demanding a full report of what happened to Alinda Mazin and the Kanu while he is in Kenya. What happened to him? Was Interpol involved? If Interpol was involved, if he was arrested, was he detained? What did she do in Kenya? Where and all these things is the details we are demanding from the government of Kenya. I really understand the process. If a man is arrested, his rights are being we know that has no regard to human rights. No country of good conscience will repatriate or extradite any person to a very country where his life will be threatened. Mazin Nandekanu is a prisoner of conscience. We all know that. He is a political prisoner who sought refuge in another country has proven that his life was threatened. The army stone disaster killed 28 people during that oppression, including his father and mother that are collateral damage out of the shock they got from when this thing took place in his residence. So the world knows that this man is a political prisoner, he's not a criminal, he's not a terrorist, all he asks that his people be free. The fact that African nations will rise up and treat their own fellow brothers is appalling. And so I will be calling on the national coordinator, Sakali Ogoke and the National Secretary to please dialogue with the police and see whether we can have somebody from the embassy so that you, if you have any letter, you can address them. I want everybody to remain calm. Um, and uh, the Ontario coordinator will tell us the next place we are going from here. Capital Hill. If we live here, we will be going to the Capital Hill. Come, it's okay now. Come, it's okay. And we will touch the Nigerian Embassy briefly if we have time. IPOB, IPOB, it's only, it's only, British Embassy, we went there, nobody came out. Why would we, nobody come out? Uh, that shows you that they know that what they did is wrong. They know, they don't come out, they are they know absolutely that their actions.
So this way, this way. So we go back. Okay. IPOB. The police needs to follow, please. Thank you very much. I'm 
Okay, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Let me Yeah. <laughs> London. Children, <laughs> Ebeka unusi, Ebeka unusi, Ama 
Ni afra gane Who mo kori be mu Sikere wo mo ma ba Who mo bo i be mu Sikere wo no na ga ga E ka uno si Ni afra E be ka uno si Ni afra Aga ma hapo Ga na bo za Aga ma hapo Ga na ji ya ga di Ni afra gane Who mo kori be mu Sikere wo no ma ga ga Who mo bo And we need to go to the parliament building. So I'm going to stop this now. There's going to be a part four. There will be a part four when we get to the parliament building. Okay? All right. See you guys soon.